Anyway folks, welcome back to Mike's Chat. Hey, I'm back. I am back. And you're thinking, where's all the Thundercats? Well, I'm sure I said I sold them because I'm just weren't into it anymore. So I sold the whole of the Thundercats. That's why there's a big gap. So I'll have to fill it in one time and uh, try and make a, a space for something to put in there because it's a bit plain and dandy at the moment. So um, yeah, all the Thundercats, what was there? got sold because I need the money for other projects like I said on the last video when I've done it if you looked at that but anyway I've been down the boot cell I'm back I've been down the boot cell I've done I've done a lot down the boot cell so I'm going to cut this video into two so next week I'm doing the rest of the boot cell finds but today I'm going to do part one of the boot cell finds so yeah here we go You're thinking, oh, hang on a minute, is that a lot of books? No, it's old VHS tapes. If you look online now, VHS tapes have gone sky fucking away. Sky away, I don't know why, because I think it's because, I think it's because, um, I think it's about a month or two ago, a Back to the Future copy, sealed and all that, went for fucking shitloads, thousands and thousands of quick, uh, dollars. In an auction and that's why people thought oh like my video i've got one of them or oh, this must be worth this much or this must be worth that much so people are skyrocketing their videotapes saying they're rare 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 yeah a few of them are rare but at the end of the day not all of them but people are whacking up the prices for vhs and i thought so right let's just get the ones what i'm interested in like a few classic classics so i went and i got a few classic videos so i'm going to show you in this one what i've got Next one what I've got, and the one after that what I've got. So I got, first one was, Rocky. First released, Rocky film. Absolute wicked, Sylvester Stallone. The tape from uh, Warner Brothers. Warner Home Video, sorry. Rocky 1. Pretty cool, like that film. And we got, Rocky 2. Absolute wicked, Warner Home, first release. Rocky 2. Blinding. That's a rematch for Apollo Creed. What is it? It's, yep, yeah, you guessed it, Rocky 3. <laughs> Mr. T. Rocky 3, first release. Absolute wicked. Wait until the video stops rewinding before removing the film. I had all these ages ago, back in the night, 80s and 90s, I them all. And what happened? I threw them away and thought to right, yo, VHS ain't worth a wank anymore, so let's go into DVD. I was wrong. If I kept all them videos now, I'd fucking thousands. I would have earned a lot of money, but I didn't know, did I? So, uh, yep, Rocky Free, Mr. T, first release, born home video. I saw this in the cinema when I was like eight, seven or eight, and um, I remember it vaguely, but my favourite is, you guessed it, Rocky IV. Absolute wicked. Drago, the new uh, release got, uh, the new one, Director's Cut got released last year. Wicked, this is one of my favourite Rocky films of all time, Rocky IV, I love the music, people say it's a music video instead of a film, but it's got some wicked tunes in this, Rocky IV, Drago, um, or Drago, Dolph Lundgren, uh, Rocky IV, first release, absolutely wicked, and I saw this in the 90s, Rocky V, in the cinema, absolutely wicked, it ain't so people hate this film, but if you've seen the work print director's cut of this, a rough cut, it is the better version than the one that was released. But it's online on YouTube. If you look on the director's cut, you see in parts, it's longer. And I've got a work print version over there, which is about um, just under two hours, or just hitting the two hour mark. And this is on for an hour and 40. So my one go, or the one online, goes on for 20 minutes more. And it's worth checking it out because that's the director's cut. Not officially released, someone leaked it out. So, uh, yeah, Rocky Five's got a couple of good tunes in it. I saw this in the 90s, absolute wicked. I thought myself like, but I was pity I couldn't see this in the cinema. I just weren't interested in it at the moment. But uh, then I got um, a Roger Rabbit box set exclusive gift pack featuring Roger Rabbit plus a Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So I got the film and a cartoon. It's a double box set. There you go, so you've got the actual film, Roger Rabbit, and you've got a cartoon of it. 
very good if you've ever seen this check it out if not then uh, do check it out because it's really good I remember this in the 90s so uh, we put that down Rocky 5 4 3 let me wait that down 5 4 3 2 and 1 so yeah so that was going for a little bit because these tapes are going up in value so these ones are was quite a bit to get hold of the first couple. Rocky Ford weren't too bad, that was a cheap nasty one, that was a cheap nasty one. But when you look online, they're worth a lot of money. You think, damn, you know what I mean? It's got to be the condition. If it's sealed, then it's worth more. If it ain't sealed, then it's worth less. But the value of these are going up because like this is nearly like 40 years old or even over 40 years old. Coming up to 40 years old, under 30 odd years old, like you know, it's just they will go up in value. So uh if you're interested, clip some first releases VHSs, keep them because you never know, they turn to be vintage. So when I went down the market, I got one of these. I remember this as a kid, Return of the Jedi, Star Wars. It's like the uh, adaptation of the, the movie book. Someone's inked it already. Nice poster there of the old uh, Imperial ships. So basically it's like just saying about the uh, storybook based on the film. Read along kind of pictures and you read it along all through the film and that. And Rancor Pit and Jabba's Palace and Boba Fett striking the old uh, Luke sword there. Luke fighting the old guards there. Obi-Wan playing on to blow up the Death Star. The old biker scout, that's the best bit in the film. The old biker scout in the uh, Endor. So yeah, I remember this as a kid, getting one of these books, back in the day, the Ewoks, and it was pretty cool. And I didn't know what I'd done with it, I think I threw it away years ago when I didn't want it, interested in it anymore, so, um, but yeah, I picked it up, 50p, ain't too bad, 50 pence for a book, and I picked up this, it was a Batman car, I don't know how long it's been out, but it's a Hot Wheels Batman car, it's a... Uh, I think it's like designed as the old classic old one. That's in the uh, in the box so far. When did this come out? This came out in. Let's have a little look if I can see the date. Can I see a date on this? I don't think I can. But yeah, this is going for 50p. So uh, I picked up a Hot Wheels car, Batman. Really, really good. It reminds me of the old classic Batman car from years ago if you've seen one then it was black but this one's tinted a little bit red but yeah it seems like almost the same design and stuff i don't know if that was matchbox back then or i don't know if hot wheels was around i'm not too sure but yeah i saw that i thought yeah it's pretty smart in the box so i got one out and also a lot nice not last but not least i got a batman that's like cold that's a bit heavy isn't it I think this was a modern release, so I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, I remember them. Stretch Armstrongs, so, you know, where you pull it and it's got uh, all the, it's kind of squeezable in it. But yeah, let's give it a go. So this is the first time I'm pulling this Batman. I hope it don't snap. But yeah, it's like a Stretch Armstrong kind of Batman. So uh, let's, there you go. So it bends and stretches like a good one. The cape's are really nice. And that is my bendy. Batman, what I got today from the boot cell. So, uh, yeah, that's my pickups. So, I got Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Roger Rabbit, the Batman car, an old book what I used to have years ago, what I remember back in the day, and a bendy Batman, the Stretch Armstrong kind of bendies. So, yeah, that is my first Mike's Chat video of coming back. Um, I think I've done alright. But I'll be doing another video today and releasing it next week of what else I picked up at the boot sale. But thanks for coming back for Mike's first video for a little bit because I'm still doing my projects so I'm dropping videos here and there. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got. Check out the VHS tapes on uh, eBay or around because they are going out in value. But just, I'm just collecting the ones what I'm interested in. Not every single one because I'll have to get like stacks and boxes and all that like I did. And it was too much and plus they weigh a lot 
uh, but all my films what I yeah, had back in the day I converted it to DVD so I've got them on DVD now but I thought myself I'll pick out the ones what I want uh, what I'm interested in what I want to keep and that's it so thanks for watching today watch the video and I'll see you next week cheers there's many ways you can follow me on social media Instagram Mike's Chat Facebook group even subscribe to this page even click that notification bell for the next video content coming up or go to the about email me if you've got anything to give away thanks very much and see you next time